That's my name. <laughs> okay, so I wrote this poem a few months ago, and um, I think it it's amazing what poetry can do in like showing you what you're th actually thinking when you don't even know what you're thinking. <laughs> and it's something that has become a lot more relevant to me recently. So I'd like to share it with you. The stale tang of the letter A, word unbidden on the bud that's for kissing him. Close smile lips, the ammunition glints through like silver tooth. Three times a harm, two times an arm, once I am. He bites down on the metal, brands the A grade with a soft hissing. An apple core tumbles back to throat, choking like canker. Waiting for love's first truth. This world is not as round as I thought. In my head, it was a fat, juicy world, a tangerine. But before I can say so, it melts like marmalade between my teeth. I swallowed the pips. A stem grew from me. Take your pick from the pink lady apple tree. Up is good, right? Don't tell me that here he might not be at the top. Her heart might not soar. They're not, in fear of fact, over the moon. I feel like saying, this is the way the lady stands, with her legs together, smiling, smiling, small and quiet, small and quiet. Don't think, don't speak, no, don't tap your feet. Ladies, don't break a sweat. They perspire. <laughs> nice girls don't aspire or inspire. They tire. <laughs> Once I had a sort of doubling, an out-of-body experience, not dryness or drab grey, a brilliant, a shimmering, an extra self. This is a woman. She, I say, she tore her stocking on a shard of glass, walking where she should be looking up attentively. She strides on along the canal of thick blue veins. But printed up her thigh is dainty text that she cannot read. Some fairy tale or wedding vow or marriage contract. I thought that she would shed her skin tear off her pantyhose and emerge with scales like sleek golden silk. That skin, I see, curls in on itself, like apple peel. An unfinished sentence. Thank you. Mm.